Yo, peace world. It's Joey Badass checking in, man. And, uh, you know, briefly, I'd just like to share some of my thoughts and comments, some words on everything that's been going on in the current situation. So, you know, firstly, I'd just like to say it's over. You know, it's over. It's over for all of that white privilege, conservative attitude shit. It's over for all of that. And, you know, you see, why it's over is because in 2020, everybody's exposed. Nobody's hidden anymore. Everyone is exposed. We can see clear as day who's who, whose side you on. Everybody's exposed, y'all. 2020 means perfect vision. It's funny because 2020 is also the year that a lot of, a lot of, elevated minded individuals were predicting who who correctly predicted would be the shift of paradigm and for those of you who don't know what a shift of paradigm means that means a shift in the way the collective consciousness views things or thinks that's what we're experiencing now because a lot of people for the first time are seeing with new eyes you know there's also people who, who've been seeing this way for a long time but there's way more people who are now just starting to wake up and open their eyes to the reality. And now that we can see y'all, we can see that our time is now. And they know it. Check the news. Put the news on right now. I bet you they panicking. I bet you they panicking. They pandemic didn't work, y'all. Exposed too much holes in their operation and they're panicking. It's our time now. You see, let's not even talk about the, matter of fact, yeah, let's talk about the slave health deficit. How is it that a global pandemic happens and once that disease reaches this country, it widely affects a certain group of people? How is that? Oh, because it's clear as day now that this, this justice system, this law system was not designed to protect us, people that look like me. When I say us, I'm talking all oppressed people. All oppressed people. Whether you got black skin or bags under your eyes or post-traumatic distress, disorder from you don't even know what. I'm talking all oppressed people because that's what it's come down to. It is the oppressed Versus the oppressors. Time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up. There's no other way to look at it. There's no other way. Do not fall for their trick on the news right now. It is not black versus white. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. It is not black versus white time right now. It's 2020. Not 1960s. Remember, y'all, it's a new time. It is the oppressed versus the oppressor, y'all. That's where we at. So now that we can see, right? I'd like to suggest two ways of how we could continue this energy moving forward. Because I've been seeing a lot of people ask like, yo, what are we going to do outside of this week or this month or just this time? And rest in peace to George Floyd. Rest in peace to, to Breonna Taylor. Rest in peace to Armand Arbery. Rest in peace to Sean Reed. Rest in peace to too many names. Too many names. So here's two ideas on what I think we could do to move forward, to keep that energy, Right? One, we got to unite on a mental front, y'all. We got to unite on a mindset. We got to unite mentally. Because you see, that's how they beating us. That's how they beating us. They're beating us through dividing and conquering. When I say they, I'm not, I'm not just talking about prejudiced white people or the police. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about they. Prejudiced white people, the police, government officials, the elitists people who control the country and the world and all of the money that runs in it. I'm talking about they. They have this thing called the called the blue wall of silence where they stand united on a mental front no matter what. It's on some see no evil, hear no evil type of shit and it's wicked. It's wicked. But right now it's time we implement that same strategy. That's the first thing we gotta do. We gotta unite on the mindset. They attacking one of us, they attacking all of us. 
And that's why we're not rocking with that all lives matter shit right now. Because how could all lives matter when black lives clearly don't? Mm. You see, y'all just keep exposing yourselves. <laughs> and go ahead, keep doing it, because it's 2020. It's time for everybody to see you for who you really are. And, and, and you know, nobody's excluded from that. Because there's a lot of coonery going on, too. It's a lot of coonery. There's a lot of people on the oppressed side still siding with the oppressor. Fuck all of that. All that is over now, y'all. You see, the whole 2012 shit, you know, 2020 is 2012 on the Ethiopian calendar. And that's no coincidence. And y'all know what 2012 is about. 2012 is about the world ending. But what they didn't tell you is, it's not the end of the world. It's the end of their world. Mm. Our time is now, y'all. They're panicking. They're shook. They know it. Second thing that we need to do, once we unite on a mental front, right? Immediately, we need to we need to police the police. You see, I believe that in any right-minded society or body of people, government, whatever you want to call it, the people should have a say on the policies that govern the people who are sworn in to protect and serve those people. I'm going to say it again just for, just for clarity. The people should have a say on the policies that govern the police. Straight up. That is just the obvious. And now that it's clear that, you know, this, this justice system was built not for us, not for people that look like me, at time we adjust it. Because that's the real just act. It's time we adjust the justice system. It's time we take back our power, y'all. So I have a solution for that. My good friends at Campaign Zero, that's at Campaign Zero. I've posted about it. I, I, I'm, I'm going to put the link in my bio. My good friends at Campaign Zero have come up with a, 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 a strategy on how we could quickly start implementing these policies. It's called the Eight Can't Wait. And it's eight policies that every police station across the nation needs to adopt right now. Right now. So once we can unite on that mental front, y'all, second step is policing the police. It's time we get on the phones, start calling the mayors, the government officials, and start letting them know what's up. Start, start demanding what we want. Or else, you know, she can get way worse than this motherfucker. Straight up. Straight up, y'all see, y'all see outside right now. Outside, outside. It's time to take back what we deserve, what we always deserve. Right? Now, that's just what I think we could do moving forward. Moving forward. But right now, it's time to pick a side, keep that energy. And let's get to work, man. What are we waiting on? No more letting up. Our time is now. Peace.